Hey guys, what is up? Vapor here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a tutorial on oil paint. Pretty much looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, but this is how it looks. And lately, I've been I've been using it on my uh, backgrounds, but I think it looks awesome. So I wanted to share I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, let's get started, guys. Alright, let me just open up. Uh, there we go. Alright, so I'm just gonna be using this right here. Alright, <clears throat> now what I like to do when I when I first start like making all the layers and applying stuff to my logo, I just like to. I like to have a few extras just in case just just in case I mess up. I just like to have a few extras so all right. So what you want to do is you want to come down here and oh and by the way guys, if you have CS5, uh it does not have oil paint. Oil paint is just on uh CS6. So <clears throat> yeah. But it's worth it to get CS6. I like it. Alright, so you want to hit oil paint, and this pops up. Now, what you want to do is, I mean, you can you can mess around with all this under the brush section, but what I like to do is have the style up all the way to ten, and the cleanliness on ten, and for the scale, it's kind of just your personal preference. Um. I'll, I'll have it at six, and then all right, Bristol detail. Just put it around, put it on ten. All right, one second. All right, <clears throat> and you just want to hit OK, and as you can see, it. It looks really nice. It looks like uh, smooth and it looks clean. So, um, once you have that, another thing I like to do is I like to add detail into my logo. So, if you just want to bring out color, I really like um, I really like bringing out whatever color. For right here, it's purple. So, I'll bring out the purple. Well, actually, I'll just make it make it white, make it a little brighter. All All right, and then just kind of overlay it, and as you can see, it looks nice because it brings out it brings out the purple and it makes it look better. But just have that around, I'll say around eighty. All right, another thing that I sometimes do is I like to go into filter gallery, and I like to go to glowing edges. And then control U or command U. <clears throat> Alright, and then turn the saturation down all the way to zero. Hit OK. And I like to do color dodge or hold up. Um, yeah. Yeah, color dodge and just bring it down. And what that does is kind of kind of brings it out more, <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't like using it that much. I only like using it on some of them, but yeah. And the last thing that I would do to make this better is I would add in a nice texture. So.
Oh, and about my channel, guys, sorry I haven't been active lately, but I'm trying to stay active. <clears throat> Maybe, yeah. Alright. And, yeah, that's... Look at... That's pr that's pretty much the finished product, and uh, that's pretty much how I start my uh, backgrounds now. But <clears throat> yeah, guys, hope you guys like this. Um, it's actually really nice to do on backgrounds. It actually ends up looking real good, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, guys, uh, tell me what you think. Tell me other tutorials. Uh, rate, comment, sub. See you guys. Vapor out.